Yo guys, it's BTB here and today I'm back with another narration and uh, today we are going to go over the semi-finals game of World Cup. Um, this is uh, US West versus Canada I believe and uh, Zomog is the captain of US West and he's also a really good friend of mine, a very solid player. And uh, his opponent is FLCL who's from Canada and also a very solid player. So this is going to be a very interesting game. Uh, and yeah, both these players are really good and it's semi-finals so... Uh, it's gonna be an interesting game for sure. So let's just get straight into the fucking game. Um, it looks like FLCL is teasing with like um, screens offense, whereas Zomog is using like um, some kind of Mega Medicham bulky offense. Uh, FLCL just leads off with a Coco. Like, yeah, it's just brainless cheese, so you always lead off with fucking Coco. Uh, as um, Zomog goes for the fake R turn one and then Zen Headbutt, um, which is the right series of plays, I think, because. Uh, you want to like damage the Coco and like make sure it cannot get up screens again. Uh, I think FLCL is just going to U-turn here and uh, um, what is Zomong's best play here? If I was Zomong, I would just probably click Zen again. Like I don't think Zomong loses much from clicking Zen headbutt again. Uh, does he have a better mid ground play though? Like he could, yeah, I think he just clicks Zen headbutt again. Um, if he's ballsy, I think he clicks Ice Punch here. Uh, it's not really even a ballsy play. <laughs> How is Ice Punching a ballsy play? But I think he just Zen headbutts here. Um, Ice Punch is fine too. And yeah, if he's if he wants to make a ballsy play, he high jump kicks. Uh, okay, FLCL goes hard into Halucha. Oh, and Zomag misses the fucking Zen headbutt. Okay, that's huge. Um, because if, if he got off the Zen headbutt damage, then uh, for sure, Clef. Uh, he, then for he could have like got, gone out of the Clef and like click Moonblast. But in the long run of things, I don't think this matters too much because uh, Zomok just goes on his Coco and clicks T Bolt. So yeah, the only difference this makes is like instead of uh, Clef able taking the damage, the Coco takes the damage. Um, yeah, so. Uh, unless, yeah, if FLCL crits right here, it could actually be game over. But yeah, okay, cool. So, um, that didn't happen, and Zomog just goes for this uh, T Bolt and uh, knocks out the Halucha. But uh, the Coco is heavily chipped, so mons such as uh, Zygarde and Manaphy can actually put in a lot of work. If this Manaphy is like Z Rain Dance with Psychic, uh, that's gonna be a huge threat to Zomog. But it, it could also be like Z Blizzard or something like that. So yeah, let's let's see what the set is. Okay, so he goes on to uh, Landris, um, and he's just gonna click rocks. I think Zomog is just gonna click fucking um, HP Ice here. Uh, he could be Defog on Coco as well, but I don't think he's Defog on Coco. He's probably Defog on Scarf Landris. So yeah, Zomong just clicks HP Ice if he has it, uh, and if he want, uh, and he can probably U-turn as well into like Clef and try to get up his own rocks. But yeah, HP, HP Ice is just a far, HP Ice is just a better play here in this scenario. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so now uh, FLCL probably just sacks the Landers to be honest, or he can go on a Megarna, but. Yeah, Ugh, Mag Magirna is actually pretty useless in this fucking game because the Jirachi just walls the Magirna. So Magirna actually can't do shit unless he's like Z, Z Focus Blast. Probably does a little to Jirachi, but yeah, if played well, the Jirachi just walls the Magirna forever. Uh, yeah, Magirna is his most useless member. So he can just go into Magirna here and like uh, try CMing or something. FLTL's win con in this game is um, the Manaphy and Zomog's win con in this game is like... Zomog has multiple win con. Like he doesn't have a straightforward win con. But uh, if Zomog plays well, um, he has like a way to win this game. Like I think he, he's definitely in the driver's seat right now and... Uh, He's made uh, he's made all the right plays he has to make so far, so yeah, this this is interesting.
Okay, he just HP Isis, which is safe play. And FL Seal does go into Megirna here. Uh, which is also fine, I guess. It, it, it like really doesn't matter, to be honest. I think Zom is just going to U-turn here, not wanting to not wanting to lose the Coco because the Coco can still come in one more time on the rocks and like uh, threaten the Manaphy out. So Zoma would rather keep the Coco and not just T-Bolt and throw the Coco away. Yeah, Zoma makes the right play again and just U-turns, and now he just goes on to Jirachi and. Um, I think his rocks is the cliffable, but if his rocker is Jirachi, then that's even better for him because he just gets up the rocks right now. So he's he's definitely going out into Jirachi here. Um, yeah, I think uh, probably uh, Pex would have been a misplay because of uh, a potential T bolt or yeah something like that. I think Jirachi is all around the best play. If uh, Zama was, if Zama tried to be sneaky and like guard on his pecs, and then FLCL T bolted the fucking pecs, um, Zama would be in a pretty bad position because uh, the pecs takes like a lot of damage from rocks plus T bolt. So yeah, uh, Jirachi is overall the best play. Yeah, if Zama has rocks and Jirachi, he clicks rocks right now. And if he's if he doesn't have rocks, if he's like U-turn or something, or I think he just iron heads or U-turns. Uh, either play is fine for him. Uh, yeah. If the Jirachi, okay, so let's see what the Jirachi set is, as both players are taking their time to think, which is always nice. Um, hmm. Okay, he goes on to Landris as uh, Ozama wishes up. Yeah, wish is a fine play as well. Uh, because now he can, like, now his uh, FL seal is forced into, like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ozama uh, can just go hard to Landris here because FL seal can go for. FL seal is either going to, like, go for the Z fly or, like, SD or anything. But Landris covers every fucking play FL seal wants to do, so. Zamog is definitely going to... Yeah, okay, perfect. Now he goes on his Manaphy, which is also a very nice play. Uh, because uh, that, like, kind of pressures Zamog. Not really, though, but it kind of pressures Zamog. So it's a good play by FLCL. But I think so far, um, or so far, Zamog has played this game, like, perfectly well. Uh, and FLCL has played fine, too. But I think... I, I don't agree with the Halucha play. Because I think Halucha could have done a lot more work than the Megirna. If he wanted to like pick a sack or something, he could he should have just gone out of Megirna. Because yeah, I think he should have gone out of Megirna there. Or like try to do something. I'm not really sure. I think that only that was the only misplay which FLCL did in my opinion. Uh, up till right now. Okay, so Manafi gets up the tail blow and just psychics. And this is why saving the Coco uh, and not just T bolting the Megirna was the right play because you have a Jirachi to always check the Megirna. So in such situations, you just don't throw out a man because it can always be useful in like a situation like this. Even though it's just a 10% health, it forces out the Manaphy one time. So your position becomes much better. So if Zamok has Roost, I think he should just go for the Roost here. Uh, I, I, that's a ballsy play, but there's no way FLCL is risking his win con, which is Manaphy and staying in right now. Yeah, there is absolutely no fucking way uh, FLCL stays in. He's going to go out into his Landris or Manaphy and he's going to try to sack it off. Okay. So he goes out into his uh, Landris. Now I think he's going to like uh, go out into Megirna and try to like... Uh, stall out the electric terrain turns. And then try to s uh, try and set up and win with uh, Manaphy. I think that's what uh, FLCL's uh, plan might be here. I'm not really sure. I'm not seeing this game. But if I was FLCL, that is the game plan I would go for. I would like try to stall out the electric terrain turns and um, try to go for a win try to go for a win with Manaphy because if Manaphy gets off a Z rain dance, Manaphy wins. Uh, this is assuming he's uh, Z rain dance though. If he's not Z rain dance, then I think he just sacks the Lando here and then goes on his Zygarde. Okay, since he did go into Megirna, uh, he's probably like Z Rain Dance. Like, uh, he. Is there any other reason why FLCL would try to like 
waste out the electric turn electric terrain turns uh yeah 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 there's also the other reason which uh flt is possibly doing this is because okay oh my god zamag catches the landers on the with the hp ice that was a fantastic play by zamag uh yeah, what FLCL was probably trying to do was stall out the electric terrain turns so that uh, Coco can get up screens and then Zygarde can win. Uh, Zygarde couldn't win, but like, it's still a nice. It still has a nice shot to like do a lot of damage. Even Manaphy can like break through holes and stuff. And especially if it's Z Rain Dance, he would have just won on spot. So yeah. Uh, Okay, FLCL goes on to his um, Zygarde. If he has extreme speed, he's just gonna click it, but I don't uh, think these things carry uh, extreme speed. They're usually like 1000 arrows, coil, DD, and uh, a filler move. What's the filler move? Um, glare or something? Not really sure. But he could be very well, yeah, he could very well be extreme speed. I think these things carry sub because you want to like get up the Aya Papa popping, so. Yeah, these things carry like sub, DD, coil, and 1k, but he could also be extreme speed. I run extreme speed over fucking coil or sub, I don't know. Whatever, I never use cheese, so I don't fucking know. Okay, so he sacks off his Coco, uh, but he gets off a lot of damage on the fucking Zygarde. Yeah, Zom has actually been playing this game really, really well. He's played really well for um, all the 16 turns. Uh, I think he's in the driver's seat too, because the Medich, uh, it probably comes down to a speed tie between Manaphy and Medicham, but, hmm, yeah, it comes down to a speed tie between uh, Medicham and Manaphy, I'm pretty sure. He's, he's just gonna ice, he's gonna probably just Zen Headbutt or Ice Punch here. Oh my god, High Jump Kick is a fine play too, but... <laughs> That's a ballsy play as well, but yeah. <laughs> I would have just ice punched there, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Th this is fine. I don't think uh, FLCL was gonna try and save the fucking Zygarde. Even if he was gonna try and save it, he would go out into his fucking Me Megerna. He there was no way he's going he was going out into his Manaphy there because his Manaphy is his win con. So yeah, but that's fine. Uh, in, in case he went out in his mana field, that would be a super choke, and Zamak would have won the game straight, like straight out. So I get Zamak's play. That, that it was fine overall. Okay, now he goes on to his fucking Coco and gets up the fucking screens. And if this is Z Rain Dance, uh, it's probably over. Is it though? He just head jump, high jump kicks here, right? Okay, he goes under the Clefable on the fucking Sub-Zero. Oh my god. Yeah, this game is over now. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I th this game is pretty much over now. Yeah. Uh, because he just goes under his uh, fucking uh, Medicham here, uh, fakes out, and then uh, sacks, the, sacks the fucking... Um, uh, Jirachi, then fakes out again with Medicham, sacks the Medicham, and clicks Earthquake twice and wins. Um, yeah, he could also do another scenario, but this is one of the scenarios uh, in which Zomog wins. But I think Zomog definitely wins this game because it's Sub Zero Slammer. But if, but if it was Z Rain Dance, then I think Zomog was in a very hot spot. <sighs> wow. Yeah, yeah, this, this yeah, this, this game is this game was pretty good. I think Zama actually played this game to perfection, uh, almost to perfection. I think he played like really, really well in this game, and yeah, FLCL played well too. So this was a very good game, uh, even though I don't like FLCL's team at all. But Zama's team is like pretty cool. It, it's like the fucking bulky offense kind of team I would use. I would like actually teched with the Jirachi here. Because it wastes a turn of uh, uh, it it wastes a turn of reflect, and there's no way this fucking Manaphy gets a speed boost anyway. So he just fucking reflects and yeah. 
he ends the reflect and yeah okay cool wishes up and yeah this game is over now he just iron heads here he can yeah this game is over uh very well played by zomog and yeah and the ma and the medicham play medicham sack is also r really good because uh because there was a way in which FLCL could have actually won. That is, if he froze the Jirachi, FLCL could have actually won the fucking game. So, uh, FLCL tried his odds, odd, odd, tried his odds, tried his odds. Oh my fucking god, I can't even fucking pronounce. Yeah, tried his odds out in the game. And yeah, but Zamok didn't fall for it. And Zamok played a fantastic fucking game. So yeah, this is the semifinals. And this was a very good game. I hope to like see more games like this in semi-finals because it's 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 it's, it's, it's semi-fucking finals so yeah so I think that's it for the game and I'll see you guys later in the next fucking narration peace out guys.